My name is Hannah Anderson. I'm obsessed with painting my nails. Thought I'd just come clean. Just come clean already. Hi, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today is one of my most favorite kind of videos because I'm obsessed with painting my nails. Right now, I've got fresh, clean, cut, filed nails. Today we are going over fall nails. It is October, it's a little chilly here now. I'm sitting here wrapped up in a blanket. The foliage outside is colorful. The leaves are falling off the trees. That warm weather didn't last long, did it? Not here in Maine, nope. But I'm trying to stay positive, trying to get in the mood, trying to be festive. That brings me to our video today, Fall Nails. Olive and June was kind enough to send me a bunch of their new colors along with their Manny set that they are known for. I'm a little biased because I've always been a big fan of Olive and June. I am ecstatic to say the least to try out some of their new colors for fall. So let me show you a little bit of what I got. First off, beautiful box, fall plaid colors. Now with the Manny system, you get a few things. A nail polish remover pot. These are sick. I've only had one of these once in my life and it was not the quality of this. I had something on my nail earlier and I stuck it in here, out, nothing. Nothing. I wish I had something to show you. Maybe I'll show you later. And then also this little matching bag to the box. It comes with the poppy, which I'll show you that in a little bit. Cuticle oil, pin style. Then we've got file, buffer, and a like cleanup brush. I was kind of hoping this was a dotting tool because I don't own a nail dotting tool and I'm itching for one. I'm itching to put little dots on my fingers with one of those dotting tools. Also, I got some of the hand serum. This stuff is sick. Okay, let's just go ahead and put some on. This is so high quality. It's so like skincare type packaging. It's really nice, not too heavy, not sticky, not greasy, and fragrant free. Love that. Not overwhelming. Perfect. Before I get to the nail polish that I got, because that is what I'm most excited about, they also sent me some the Press On Manis. Now, I haven't done a Press On Manny set since I was in pre K. I was obsessed with Press On Manis in pre K. I would literally go to school and my teachers would get so mad at me because I would just sit there and pick them all off and have to run in the hall and put them in my Barbie backpack. They're like, Hannah, you can't keep coming to school with these on if you're just gonna take them off. So these are all the rage nowadays. Like literally, I know so many people for weddings, they'll do this, vacations, they'll do it. They can get them to stay for days, which I was shocked because, you know, in my experience, they only last a few hours. So those came with a little bit of the nail glue and then also goes with the nail polish. It's dry drops, pretty self-explanatory. All right. Let's get to the exciting stuff. These are top coats and one's a quick dry version, one's a long lasting version. Now they do have long lasting and they also have quick dry polishes, but let me just show you what I got. First one, let's go over the quick dries. This lovely brown coffee espresso color and it's called Americano. This is suited, a lovely navy color. Okay, this was giving me witchy vibes. We've got Miss Twilight here, and she's got a little bit of a sparkle to her. I don't know if you can tell there. Fiddle Fig, it's a green, turquoisey, green, blue, really more green. I don't know. Next one is Cabernet. It's like a red berry color. Yeah, she's kind of giving plum. Can I borrow a sweater? And it's a nice little mauvey purple color. Oh, and yeah, she's kind of adorable and pink. This isn't a part of the fall. This is just one that I've been eyeing for a long time on their website. It's called That's Amore, but it's like a pinky jelly type color. It's got a little bit of like a chromey sheerness to it. I'm a fool for a pink color. I really am. So I'm really excited to try that one. They brought this one out for fall too, and it's called the Sparkle Shawl. This is giving to me like holiday party. These I kind of have a hard time putting on top because it's really hard to put the sparkle where you want it, you know, sometimes you just get the clear and not the sparkle, but I'm excited for this, especially during Christmas. I think this will look really good during Christmas, maybe like a New Year's Manny, so. And then one I got for my birthday recently, Pink Goldfish, and this was also part of their summer, I believe. It goes along with the uh, That's Amore, like just kind of sheery, buildable colors. But like I said, they didn't send me this one. I bought it on my own at Walmart. You can buy all this at Walmart, amazing, or online. Let's get started. Let's, I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do the old school, one color each fingernail, like a little kindergartner. Who cares? Whatever, it's fun. This is a one-time thing that I can go back, see how they all paint, and then really know how I want my fingers to look all fall long, okay? All right, I'm gonna clean some of this up and we'll get started. Okay, first off, let me show you how this works. This is the poppy, and this is something very unique to Olive and June you may not know about. Here's the nail polish. You can just 
pop this off okay now it's got this little top to it and you're like that's weird hannah why is it like that enter the poppy okay so this put it on top of here squeeze it down new top okay now you can just easily take it off and it makes it super super simple to paint your nails also we'll highlight one of my favorite things about olive june is the brush because it's thicker wider i don't know it spreads the polish so easily cool little thing especially i think this would be good for littler kids or maybe if you have a hard time with your grip this would be sick that being said where should we start let's start with the brown because i can't stop buying the brown all i've wanted this year is a nice brown polish now i love this color but I would like a darker brown that isn't black because I have a brown that just looks black and then you're like, what's the point of wearing this when no one knows I'm wearing brown nail polish? Do you see my dilemma? All right, this, like I said, Americano, kind of like a um, tan brown color, but definitely a creamier brown. Next up, we have Miss Suited. Well, it's just called Suited. Lovely little navy color. I'm gonna try not to ruin all my nails while also doing my nails. That tends to happen sometimes. These are quick dry, so we'll see. How quick do they dry? These also come with cute little pink clippers. I mean, how adorable. One thing I've noticed about the quick dries is that they don't have the glossy finish that say the long lasting polishes do. It's more of a, a matte, I don't know, kind of finish in a way. I mean, it's still a little bit gloss. I really like the second coat on Suited. I'm definitely got a darker navy color there. Let's do a second on Americano. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Okay, next up we have Twilight. You can really see the kind of shimmer there. It's just making me feel like a witchy woman. It really is. There's one coat. And they really are drying so fast. Second coat. Got a little bit on my finger. I didn't really push down my cuticles before this. Don't tell anyone. So far, so good. Chromey, metallic-y kind of effect. This is also highly anticipated for me. First green nail polish that I own. And I love it. One coat. How about this color palette? Tell me that's not fall. Okay, second coat on. I mean, tell me you're not obsessed with that color. You're lying. I think sometimes I'm just drawn to green though, especially during the fall. I'm kind of drawn to green then. And also spring and also summer. One last quick dry, this is Cabernet. She really is pretty berry -y. But I love that. I love a berry, a pinky red, I don't know. A lot lighter than I initially anticipated. We'll see after two coats, but after one coat, pretty light berry color. Second coat. Oh wow. Second coat is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's almost giving vampire. I'll be wearing lots of this. I'm a big red nail polish girl anyway, so that was the last of the quick dries. Now we're going to move on to the long lasting polishes. Now these do have a little bit of a glossier finish to them without a top coat. This is Lux Loafer. And since I just did that other kind of berry color, let's go ahead and do this one too. I'm done with my left hand, meaning that I have painted all of my fingernails with my dominant hand. So now we're moving over to the right hand, painting with my left. So let's give me just a little bit of forgiveness here because while I feel like I'm good at painting my nails, they maybe look a little bit messier on the right hand, okay? Since I'm non-dominant hand. All right, here we go. First impressions, very similar to Cabernet after one. It is a tad bit more like maybe magenta-y, purple-y, I would say. Definitely going with the second, second coat. Gorgeous, Gorgina, look at her. Okay, slightly darker, plummier color for sure. This one is also giving vampire. Definitely looks a little bit more maybe pigmented than the quick dry, but you can definitely tell, I mean, it is still a little bit wet, but the long lasting has a shinier formula finish to it. Cannot wait for this one. Can I borrow a sweater? I think this is gonna be a go-to, I really do. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a neutral in a way, like you can just wear it with a lot of stuff. It is, I feel like a jellier type finish. So this one's definitely gonna take more than one. Okay, for sure, jellier, that's one coat. One coat, you can tell, definitely sheer jelly type finish. I might even go three with this color. That's really pretty. Like a nice little hint of pink and purple. Definitely a good switch up from your go-to nude or neutral nail polish for a fall. All right, let's go for number three. Wow, okay, number three, gorgeous. 
I'm sorry, but I love that. Let me hit him with a top coat real quick. This is the quick dry. Okay, this is pre-top coat, and this is after. The top coat definitely makes him stand out more. Without top coat, top coat. Super shiny, super delicious. All right, so here she is. Has these cute little glitters in them. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so festive. Wow, that's so fun. I do like that, look at that. It kind of reminds me of a nail polish I had when I was a little kid too, so bringing out the little child inside of me. I'm going to say that my favorites are green, for sure, for sure green. I think I'm gonna use a lot of this. Lux Loafer. See, I'm having a hard time, they're all my favorite. They're all my favorite. Quite literally the perfect palette for a fall nail edit. Olive and June makes painting your fingernails fun. That's what it is. That's what it is. Everything about it is just so cute. It's fun. Their colors are fun. I'm just gonna stare at them all day. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint my nails. I hope you will go paint your nails after this. And if you enjoyed these colors, if you're interested in a little Olive and June, maybe you wanna buy the full Manny kit for yourself, I will link all the products below in the description. Let me tell you, you won't regret it. You can also shop them at Walmart. Guys, I did not get paid to say this. I genuinely just love their products. That's it, take it from me. I don't think you'll regret buying it, so. Just do it already. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye. And it's a ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it.